Hi, I'm Nikki. Hey guys, so I'm Gio. Hi, my name is Chris. Hey guys, I'm Sam. I actually grew up in the Philippines for about 10 years. I lived in the Philippines for the first 14 years of my life. I was born and raised in San Francisco. I was born and raised in New York City. I'm actually half Filipino, but I grew up with a Filipino mom, Filipino grandma that cooked a lot of Filipino food for me growing up. So what adobo means to me is like just like something authentic from home, something that you can just throw into a pot, let it simmer, let it sit overnight. I let this sit for more than a day. So it really, really sat into like the flavors and stuff. Ooh. We got chicken drumsticks. It's clearly been sitting in the sauce for a while and it's been marinated. So the meat underneath looks a little bit tinted brown. I'm gonna go for the rice and gravy first. I don't know if I'm supposed to tear it with a spoon or eat it with my hands. Oh. I'm definitely tasting some peppercorns here. Wait, that's actually kind of good. I'm not really tasting much of the soy sauce. This one's pretty good. Very classic, very basic adobo. I think this is what I would usually get in a restaurant. This is pretty spot on. The chicken's a little dry, and I noticed that there's not a lot of sauce. It tastes a lot more salty than anything. The chicken's also got a nice sear to it, which I always appreciate. It tastes like either the soy sauce or the sugar in it is a little bit burnt. I'm gonna have to take off some points for that. Probably give like a six. This is pretty good. I'll probably give a seven. It's still edible. I just, it kind of was just way too dry. Four out of 10. Kind of want to finish this, but uh, we got a few more, so. I know, my mom's so disappointed in me. I actually had to FaceTime her to make this. She didn't really give me measurements. She was just kind of like, add a little bit of soy sauce, maybe a little bit more vinegar, things like that. I'm just like, how can you tell? One thing that I decided to like go with was lemon lime soda, which it really is just seven up. It doesn't matter how different or what kind of like secret ingredients you use. It's really hard to like get it wrong. I think that the sauce looks really like heavy. This one looks really thick. This has got like a very thick and heavy looking sauce. Like, Look at that. I do see a lot of peppercorns in here. You know, I'll just try to avoid those, but I'll maybe have one. Everyone's doing drumsticks. Is that like, is that the common one that people do? Let's just get into it. Let's try it. Mm. So I take sauce back. It's almost like syrup. There's definitely a lot of sugar in this one. It's a little weird, but the chicken is cooked pretty much perfectly. If you make drumsticks, you're kind of just gambling that they eat the right part of the drumstick, you know? Because it's kind of a toss-up. I like how big the bay leaves are, actually. Yeah, I'll probably eat this again, but I might reduce it a little bit less. I think they were probably running late and just blasted the heat as high as it could go. Probably over-reduced a little, which explains the syrupy texture of it. But I kind of like that. Overall, pretty good. Probably give that like a six or a six and a half. So that's like maybe seven out of 10? I give a nine. I'm pretty sure I'll be the least Filipino, Filipino person in this group. I do know how to cook though. I just don't know adobo. So I just texted one of my friends asking, how do I make adobo? And she just said, soy sauce, vinegar, and also make it a day before so it soaks up all the juices. So I did that. It looked way better last night. <laughs> I think I just got a microwave it or something, but dried bay leaves, apple cider vinegar. I have black peppercorns. I put a lot on there actually. Oh, I put a lot of garlic. All right, so this is chicken thigh. I'm a little scared because there was a lot of bay leaves in that. Bay leaves is always good. This one's got a pretty good consistency to the sauce. Not too heavy, not too light. Ooh, the sauce is a little bit more thin. I totally bit into a peppercorn. This, wow, there's a lot of peppercorns. The pepper's like a little bit like too strong. There's just so much of it. The spice is just hitting me now. I like it though. I'm not gonna lie, this does taste pretty good. I'm not sure like what it is, but it's got like a unique taste to it that I don't really associate with adobo, but it's not bad. The flavor just hits you. It's very saucy. The meat is cooked pretty well. I like how soft it is. Overall, I think this is the best sauce so far. I don't know, I feel like someone who put that much uh, bay leaves into it hasn't had adobo before. No adobo looks like that. <laughs> That being said, I think it's pretty good. I think this one's been married in a little bit longer because the sauce is like seeped into the meat. And this one definitely has some more punch to it, which I like. I don't like bland adobo. I would have this again for sure. Uh, so that's like definitely like an eight out of 10. The one thing it lacked was a little bit more vinegar. Probably like an eight and a half or a nine actually. Uh, hits all the right spots, A plus. That one has to be my favorite. Um, eight out of 10. Bay leaves, black pepper, cardamom, um, all spices are all like pretty common, like Filipino ingredients, but uh, my grandma got something called pickling spice, which actually has all those ingredients plus a ton of other stuff in there that kind of adds a lot more spice, adds a lot more punch and flavor to it. I think that's what makes this adobo like really interesting, really special. Oh, this isn't chicken, this is definitely pork. Do people make adobo with non-chicken meats? I think it looks like pork adobo. And I see some onions in here. I also like how the bay leaves are like put to the side on the right here. Appreciate that they cut this up into tiny little bite-sized cubes. Let's give it a try. This one has an interesting spice. I can definitely taste some peppers in here. Definitely something a little different. One of those secret ingredient things that I was talking about. I don't know what they did differently with this one, 
but it tastes different. I like the previous one because it was a little bit more sweet because I like that like brown sugary type vibe to like hit me a little harder. Dry meat, little cubes, kind of interesting taste, recognizably adobo. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I appreciate that it is not chicken. I would have this again for sure. That's also like a seven out of 10 because it's something different. Uh, so I'll give it a five. I'd probably give a five out of 10. I was the last person I was expecting to win this. I didn't even measure anything, right? I just seared the meat and then started throwing things together until it looked right. I'm like, this is probably good. And I got the peppercorns and I'm like, it needs a little bit more. And I just dumped it in. I'm like, yeah, that's good. So I don't know. I guess, I guess, um, thank you for watching.